how to use YouTube for realtors. This video is going to be an absolute wealth of knowledge. And genuinely, if you want to know how to use YouTube as a real estate agent to attract clients at scale, I can almost guarantee you're going to learn a ton of things in this video that you will not find anywhere else. We're going to be diving into Shawnee Alridge's journey using YouTube out of Georgia and how she previously was putting out content on YouTube, but not getting any momentum. She's putting up videos, not getting many views, not getting any clients like many agents face when they get started with YouTube, but she made a couple very specific changes that she's going to be diving into. And now not only does she have a full pipeline of clients that are coming directly to her, but she's closing deals every single month using YouTube and nothing but an iPhone. So in this video, Shawnee breaks down the exact videos that have led to closed deals, her content recording process, but most importantly, some of the very important nuances and differences that she made and changes that allow her to build massive momentum and go from putting out content that's not getting any traction to now thriving with YouTube and becoming a top producer. Things like how to get comfortable in front of the camera and getting over the fear of being in front of the camera. Some of the very specific changes that she made to get more views, more clients, and more engagement on her content that honestly, I don't see anybody else sharing. So before we get into it, two quick things. Number one, I will link Shawnee's incredible channel below so that you can use it as a reference for your own content. And number two, if you relate to Shawnee's journey and you would like to talk with her one-on-one -on -one about partnering with her, I will link her calendar below as well so you can book a Zoom call with her. So without further ado, let's give you the tactical blueprint of how to get outside of your own head, learn a new strategy, and start to create a consistent pipeline of clients and closed deals for free from YouTube. Welcome back everyone to an incredibly special video today where I'm really grateful to bring on Shawnee Allridge, one of my partners who's absolutely been crushing it with YouTube and has a couple important messages of how she transitioned from previously putting out content and not getting results to now having a pipeline consistently coming to her through her YouTube channel. So really excited about this one. Shawnee, what's going on? Hey, Mike, how's it going? Glad to be here. <laughs> yeah, this is a long time coming and, and, you know, just to see your success, it's been absolutely amazing. And, you know, especially the journey since I saw where you started and now where you're at. So, yeah. you know, before we kind of dive into things like YouTube and strategy, why don't you mm -hmm. just give people an idea of like who you are, where you're from and, you know, what your journey has been like in real estate? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, yes, I'm Shawnee Allridge and I am a broker and appraiser in Georgia. And so I started in real estate, you know, it's kind of funny because I was in college, I got licensed in college. And, um, and then I started doing real estate while in college. So my mom, she's a broker and I was just basically like her, you know, like assistant and things like that. So in, you know, just fast forward now, um, you know, real estate looks different, how you sell looks different, how you present yourself looks different. And so now we're really into that digital, you know, social media type of arena where it's just things are so different than how it was when I first got started. So yeah, yeah, it's been it's been amazing. And, and the fact that, you know, I think one of the things that you've done well is is that it acknowledge that things are changing. And a lot of people want to stay <laughs> stuck in their own ways. And, and then they're wondering <laughs> why they're falling behind, you know? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, you have to stay, you have to always be a student of this real estate industry, you have to always be a student. And so I think that's you know, it's funny because I started out while in college being a student. <laughs> so I understand the concept of just learning and being happy to learn and grow and do things different. So, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. And, and you know, it, it's been amazing to see what happened with your channel. And I think that's going to be uh, <laughs> something to kind of dive into because, you know, when you yes. and I first connected long ago, you know, you mm -hmm. had content, but you weren't really getting business from it. So I'd oh. love to kind of hear your, you know, your journey on, you know, why you at least got started with YouTube and then what kind of happened that was a big shift of like, okay, I'm putting out content, not getting results. Now I've got a full pipeline. What were the differences in how were you doing it before and how you're now doing it? Yeah. So when I started the YouTube channel, I really had no understanding or sense of how powerful <laughs> YouTube really was um, and how it could be an asset to me. I just thought, well, let me just put this stuff out there because I'm putting stuff on social media. So I'll just put stuff on YouTube as well. So I didn't really start out with the idea of like, this could be a true game changer for you, Shawnee. It was more like, I just want people to see me. I know that sounds silly, but that's just kind of how where I was with it. And then when I got with you and I realized, oh my goodness, like it's a search engine. Like I didn't even think of it like that. It's a search engine. And people are like, 
wanting to learn about whatever it is and you know and they call it youtube university like i just didn't think about all those different things so when i got with you know got with you and and went through you know the social agent academy and just learn about how to really structure it be intentional understand why you're being intentional and then like just going for it everything my phone started to ring i was literally so shocked the first time it rang and someone said oh um i saw your youtube video and i was driving coming from an appointment and i was like thinking oh my. you know so i'm trying to stay calm while i'm talking to them but i'm like oh my goodness like it's working it was so exciting because i knew that what i did i followed all of the instructions in social agent academy and i'm like it worked so that <laughs> That's that amazing. Really cool. Yeah. Well, and and I think it's it's such an important point because you know we always talk about you know it's not always what you do it's how you do it and I think there's two different ways oh, yeah. and and it's not just YouTube it's prospecting it's listening it's everything but it's like mm -hmm. you can put out content again kind of as you alluded to in the beginning just to put it up there because you can or you can approach it in a way that's intentional with design and you have a goal of getting in front of certain people and putting out content right. for that so. You know, yeah. I know the type of content that you're putting out, but I think that's, um, you know, something that a lot of people would be curious about is yeah. from the people that are calling and, and from the content that's been performing well on your channel, what are the types of videos that you've seen the greatest success with on YouTube? The greatest success, well, for me, like the most views I've been getting is on the videos of home tours. Yeah. People enjoy looking at beautiful things. And so when they're able to see these things for themselves and see it from, and they know that I recorded it, so they trust that, okay, she recorded it. She didn't, you know, edit it down and make it look prettier or uglier than what it was. It's just raw footage of her going through the home like she would for anybody else. I think it brings a sense of like trust and understanding and, and things like that. So I've been getting high views on the home tours, but I also been getting views from like the informational videos too. And I think that's a great, um addition to the home tours because it then shows that okay she showed the home in mcdonough georgia but she also understands mcdonough georgia because now she knows where we can take our kids to go and hang out and have fun or yeah. you know and things like that so it, it's a great uh tool to kind of put in the, those two types of videos but the high performing videos has been home tours and just letting the showing the home showcasing the home and the front the back the side and those things yeah that's awesome and one question that a lot of people always have is you know how are you getting access to the home tours is it your listings is it somebody else's what does that process look like to get into these properties to actually do the video tours of yeah and that was kind of frightening at first i have to be <laughs> honest i'm like okay so now i gotta try to find the house what house am i gonna yeah. So then I decided, you know, I'm going to do new construction because those homes are always open. The sales agents are typically really nice and warm and inviting. So they're like, oh, Shawna, you want to come in? Okay, go for it, girl. You know, it's like, it's that type of, you know, energy. And so I do new construction, typically the ones that are um, staged real nice, the model homes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do the homes that are almost finished. There's nothing in there. I may do those as well, but people want to see, they want to have a vision of what their home could look like when they move in, like how furniture is situated. So I just call the agents in new construction or I'll just pull up. I'll pull up with, <laughs> with the camera in hand and the tripod. And, <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I want to do a tour real fast of your home. Is that OK? And, and they're like, OK, sure, go for it. And that's that. I love that. That's so awesome. <laughs> just pulling up and let's rock. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you're not going to say no to me. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. No, I, and you know, I think we've got some really important things to, to dive into here um, because I know that, you know, you and I have both faced a similar journey of like, you know, having to get over the fear of being in front of the camera and then also, you know, being yourself on camera. So, so we'll dive into that, but, you know, before doing so, um, what is your process like from, okay, we've got the video recorded. Are you editing the video? Are you doing the thumbnail, you know, um, optimization? Like, what does it look like from, okay, videos recorded to now the sequential steps to get it posted? You know, I take great pride in doing everything myself, which is not always <laughs> a good idea, but at first it's good to go ahead and do it yourself because now you know what it takes and, you know, now you know what you're made of because you did it all yourself. So my first, I will say most of my videos that are 
um, on YouTube right now. I did everything. I recorded it, I edited it, I did the thumbnail and all that stuff. And I learned how to do that through our group. Um, but, you know, now I have someone else. I've, I'm able to, because I have a pipeline, I've had, you know, things have just really turned around because of YouTube and in the Social Agent Academy. But because I've done so well, now I've hired someone to do those things for me. But at first, yes, I did it all myself. Um, and, you know, it was fun. It was fun to see how to make things go together and work. I enjoyed trying to find the music to put to it. I enjoyed splitting it and cutting it and editing. Um, I enjoyed putting the thumbnail together and taking a picture of the thumbnail, you know, smiling for the picture. And I just, I enjoy all of that. And so um, I would encourage anyone to kind of start out doing it yourself, understanding and learning what it takes. So now you can tell the person you hire, like, hey, this is how I kind of want it allowing them to also put their creativity on it as well but um yeah i did everything you know on my own and i had a good time doing it. <laughs> i love that shawnee <laughs> and you know i think it, it goes to a principle that i absolutely you know embrace and, and i think is so important which is knowing enough to be dangerous and i think by doing it yourself that you see a lot of people that go straight to outsourcing but by mm. not doing it themselves and kind of understanding the nuances of it, they can't mm. even look at that and say, that is how I want to edit it. That is a good thumbnail because they've never gone through the effort of doing it themselves. And I think yep. I did the same as you when I, when I was a top producer, I did all my videos, three videos a week. And I can tell you from experience that editing a video and playing around on Canva is a lot more fun than knocking doors for three hours. So yeah. having, <laughs> you know, it so, is. <laughs> Yeah, finding ways to, to have fun with it is, is so, so important. But as you alluded to, there's, there's you know, a graduation phase that as you start to get clients from your content, you invest a certain amount of that commission back into content and now you can uh -huh. outsource. So I love uh -huh. that you've done that. Now, something that not many people talk about, and, and I'm really excited that you brought this up previously, is like getting over that fear of being in front of the camera. Because I think you see a lot of people on YouTube and they're like, yeah, I just put out videos and and then everything started coming together. But we know that's not reality. There's always this <laughs> fear phase, you know? Yeah. So let's dive into what that journey was like for you in terms of going from like being fearful to now actually having fun recording these videos. Yeah, I felt bad being fearful because I've been in real estate so long and I'm always in front of people talking. It was a point where I felt bad, like, Oh, Shani, like I had to get myself together and realize, okay, you know what? We're on a different journey now. We're learning. Let's just enjoy this. Let's enjoy it. It's part of the story. So I had to get that together first. Um, but then once I got that together, you know, I just said, I'm going to record. And I know my first video, I sent it to you and I'm like, Mike, <laughs> what should I do? And you're like, okay, this, 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 change that. So my next video, I did that. And so it was much better. I enjoyed filming it a whole lot better. I was um, learning how to just do things in a way that is going to be more beneficial for the viewer and stuff like that. So it was, it was, it was scary because I'm like, do I like my voice? Like, how do I sign on camera? Do my hair, you know, for a woman, we're like, is that, you know, hair? <laughs> oh, yeah. Should I wear my glasses? Cause I can't see if I don't have them on. Like, I just went through all these different things and I had to get it together. And I think that um, it's okay. It's okay to have these feelings, but don't just stay there. Like you had your feeling and you gotta just go for it, you know? Yeah, yeah, it, and that's the thing. It's like, it's it's acknowledge it, understand that it's there. It's always gonna be there. So it might as well be there now and make progress <laughs> instead of still there in six months from now and not yeah. see any growth, you know? Yeah, just record it, it's your voice. Your voice sounds like this on and off camera, whether you realize it or not. You know, you look the way you look on camera, whether you realize it or not. Um, I'm not a model. I'm just Shawnee. You know what I mean? And um, and I'm fine with that. And so, and people, my client that is out there, they're fine with it too. They've been looking for me for a long time and they finally found me on YouTube. And so they're ready to go and stuff. And that's how I look at it. Yeah, no, I love that perspective. And I think that, that segues perfectly into the next thing, which I think you and I, have both gone through as well, which is being yourself on camera, because, oh, yeah. you know, there's, there's always this phase. And I took this journey as well, where, you know, I was very much introverted. I didn't love how I looked on camera. I didn't like my voice on camera. And so yeah. 
I, I heard, you know, through, you know, different videos that you come across like half or a quarter of a fifth as energetic on camera as you do in person. So it's like, okay, you got to put on this character and you have to right. seem a different way. And I look back <laughs> on my videos. I'm like, how the heck is that me? That's not me. Um, right. And, and as soon as I turned that around, my channel started growing. So what was wow. that journey like for you? Because I know you've had a similar kind of experience. Yeah, it's, it's the kind of the same way. I'm like, okay, we're on camera. So obviously we have to be actors. Like I just, that was just my, you know, correlation. Okay, I'm on camera, I have to act. And um, whew, that's exhausting. Yeah. That is exhausting. Just, you know, I'm not an actress. I am a real estate professional. <laughs> in Georgia. So I had to just, you know, get to a point where I'm just being myself. Okay. I'm just going to talk to this camera, how I would talk to a client, how I would talk to a mentee. I'm just going to give it to you straight. No chaser. This is shiny. And, um, and I'm going to love it. It's me. It's real. And I'm going to love it. And if I love it, then my client and my mentee and my partner in real estate is gonna love it too. And I had to get there, but oh, for sure. At the beginning, I'm like, I don't know what to, like, you know, who who am I? Who, who's trying to be, trying to be actress or whatever, but I got yeah. past that eventually. That's amazing. And I think, yeah. you know, you, I know that you, you kind of wrote down here, but you know, it, it YouTube also helps validate your ideal client because of that, because I think, oh, you know, yeah. A lot of people, because they don't put themselves out there in an authentic way, they start wondering why they have all these like horror clients that don't align oh. with them, aren't aren't in the same wavelength and vibe. And and that's because nobody knows who you actually are. But you know, do you want to talk about what that's like to now work with the people that want to work Ooh. with you? Yes. Yes. So in the past, I just pray for these type of clients. I pray like, Lord, please give me the client that looks like this, this, and that. And a lot of times I would get clients referrals. And so that was good too, because my referrals were always similar to my past client. But now that I'm on YouTube, I'm, I'm attracting like certain type of people. I'm attracting like um, professionals who are busy. They don't have time for the foolishness. I'm attracting people who have children. Um, I'm attracting people who are moving in from out of state. They're nervous about that. That's a big deal. And so they're like, okay, we, she understands us because of her content. We clearly know she understands us. The key words that I use. So that's what's attracting them, I think, is the fact that they feel like they can trust me and I understand what they have going on. I don't have many clients who are like, I would say in their 60s and 70s. They're not, I'm not pulling that in. I'm not pulling in the young folks like early 20s and stuff like that. It's more like the 35s to 50s. That's what I'm pulling in. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. No, and it's that's my content. That's so cool. And, and, you know, I know James, you know, Zilla Killer, a good friend of both of ours, you know, oh, he's, yeah. he's talked about that is, is, you know, so many people go straight to advertising, which is like paid advertising. And, you know, now you're kind of just, throwing ads at people who you're assuming are your ideal client. But when you start to put out organic content and let organic, mm -hmm. not force engagement happen, the yeah. ideal client presents itself. And now you get to work with people that you want to work with. Absolutely. And I love James because he's yeah. the reason how I met you. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's, it's really important to align it, to be strategic about it. And that's why I tell people like, be very strategic who you align yourself with. That's really important on how you're gonna, you know, take us to the next level. And so thanks to James, I met you. And thanks to, thanks to you, I've met so many other great people um, that has really helped me to grow my business even more. Even though I've been in here for 20 years, I've been in real estate for quite some time, but I'm doing it differently. And I'm reallocating my funds differently. So I'm not paying for leads. I don't have to do that. That's I can amazing. now just have an enjoyable time creating content and everything that's such an amazing position to be in and seeing you and marty now doing collab work together like yes, it's just marty. it's amazing so i i love that and and we'll kind of pull <laughs> that full circle at the end but you know <laughs> something that 
that I'm always curious about is, you know, starting with the maybe negative and then going to the positive. But, mm -hmm. you know, what were some of the mistakes or some of the difficulties that you faced when it came to YouTube and, and kind of what to do to avoid those? Uh, for anybody that's saying, hey, Shawnee, love, love what you shared today. I'm ready. I'm, I'm going to go get face my fears. But, mm -hmm. you know, I want to avoid all the mistakes possible. What were those mistakes for you? Um, well, the mistake was me thinking that I didn't need some help. Yeah. Me thinking that just because I want better, it's just going to happen. That was a mistake because I just thought that it was going to work itself out. Like, I'm just going to pray about it and it's going to happen. It's going to just rain down. I'm not going to do much work too. I'm going to just pray. And really it required me saying, hey, you don't know how to do this. You don't know. Yeah, you've been in real estate for quite some time. You know people, but you don't know how to do this. So it took that realization and me just being real with myself. Um, and then just being in the position to say, hey, I may make a mistake, but it's okay. As long as I learn from it. Like just because I did Social Agent Academy doesn't mean that I did everything perfectly at first. I had to actually yeah. do start something, realize that, mm, I shouldn't have done it that way, or I should have did it like how they said to do it on the, you know, but um, it's, it's those things like knowing that the mistakes will happen. Like it's not going to be perfect each and every time it gets better over time. And then it's also good. I learned that it's also good to, for people to see the journey too. Yeah. They can see like that first video. Cause I got a lot of crap on the first video. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of crap. I should do a video about that. Like. I'm like, how do I respond to these comments? Like people are like not liking this video, like, <laughs> <laughs> but it got better. The videos got better over time, but it's funny. Like at first it wasn't, I was like, ah. you know, I, I tried hard with that. That was my time and effort. But now that I'm here, you know, months later, um, it's kind of like, it's funny. It's, you know, it's cute and you know, it's, it's better now. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I, you know, I'm, it was really funny because we were recently with one of one of our groups in Toronto and like one of the guys was saying, he's like, Mike, I went back and looked at your first video. He's like, I couldn't believe that my video was like 10 times better than your first video. I'm like, I know it's a joke, like, but it's the journey because now people can see like they see you now after hundreds of videos or whatever. And they're like, mm -hmm. well, I don't look like that. So I'm like, well, dude, I didn't look like that either for like three years. <laughs> so, you know, you have to start. Yeah, you got to start. It's OK. Like. I think, you know, it's funny because you and James say this all the time, like, don't be so vain, you know, don't be so vain, like, get over yourself. It's okay. Yeah. Get over yourself and then get, get ready for the journey and everything. And then laugh about it when you get to a certain place. hundred <laughs> percent. No, I, I love that. And, and kind of on the, you know, the retrospective, cause I know you've got, you know, a great mindset toward this for somebody that is looking, getting started today, what is kind of your best advice for them in order to kind of commit to it and, and see that success that you've, you've been able to witness. Um, understand that it's a marathon. Mm -hmm. Understand that, you know, it's, you're going to learn as you go. Um, continue to be a student, like have that mindset, um, you know, the outside pressures, like, and, and don't compare yourself to other people. Like, just don't, because you have your own story and it's going to look like how it's going to look. And to know that we're all human. I love our community, our group, because when we get on the calls, we can say like, this didn't work out. This is yeah. not it. My area of town, we don't have that. So what do I do? Like, you know, everyone's journey is different. Everyone's area of town that they work in is different. So just understanding that it's not going to always be perfect, but the highs are really great. The highs are really great. And the lows don't seem so low when you have a level of confidence, you have a community that you can reach out to, you know, it's, you got to plug into power. Like James always says, you got to plug into power. And so when you say plugged in, like our community, I may have a bad day, like sometimes my clients, you know, they're disappointed. So now I'm disappointed, you know? And so it weighs on me. But when I get on our calls, yeah. I'm like, oh, thank God for our community. <laughs> so plug into power, meaning strategically align yourself with the right people. You're going to need that throughout this journey of being an entrepreneur, being a real estate practitioner, you know? Yeah. That's, that's amazing. And I think perfectly, you know, leads into the final thing that I always like to pull this full circle with is, you know, you went from being at a brokerage with your mom and, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. ended up partnering with us at eXp. And I think, 
you know, that's, you know, we always live by the principle that, you know, rising tides lifts all ships. And I see a lot of people that struggle with video because they're the only one at the brokerage doing it. So of course, if you have bad days and you can't share with anybody because they don't think it works or it's worth your time, right. it's difficult to keep going. But when you're around hundreds of people that are doing it, it's a bit of a different experience. So, you know, mm -hmm. firstly, like what, what kind of drew you to the, you know, partnering with us at EXP, but then finally, what can people expect when they partner with both you and myself? Well, I gotta be honest. At first I was like, nah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, nah. I had actually been approached by other agents within EXP and I had been, you know, it just didn't seem, it didn't make sense. I was receiving like fragmented information. So I'm like, I don't thank you for your time. Okay. I gotta go. <laughs> And so then I decided to hire a business coach, you know, James, and I was talking to James, you know, in our coaching and telling him, Hey, you know, I have my own brokerage. I want to take my brokerage to a whole different level. I want to do this and that with my brokerage. And he's like, uh, so then I'm like, well, I'm thinking about EXP and he's like, okay. And he said, why don't you talk to this, this guy, which was you. And I'm like, okay, because at this point I was just doing information gathering. I knew I wanted to do better, do more in real estate and take it higher and not put so much. I felt like being a broker was a lot of work. Yeah. Anyone who's a broker, they know it's a lot of work when you have agents that you have to be there for and support. And it was just a lot and it was weighing on me, you know? So anyhow, fast forward, you know, um, even though I had heard from other EXP agents, it didn't seem too good. I was still open to getting more information. So when I had a chance to speak to you, I was like, oh, wait, this is what this how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't know this how it goes. And then when you said, well, I also offer this type of support and this type of resource, I'm like, this is what I've been looking for. Yeah. This is what I've been looking for the whole entire time. And now I can get that as well as be with this brokerage that's doing, you know, record breaking things. So. Of course, I still needed to see some more for myself. So I went to a conference. <laughs> I hadn't even joined yet, but I went to an EXP conference in Vegas. And then I was like, okay, I'm ready, ready to sign up. Because as a broker, you're not, you can't just make this move. You have to really consider everything. Um, as an agent, it's easier to say, hey, I'm done with the, this particular brokerage firm. I'm going to move on. But as a broker, there are things I had to get into place. So, um, but after going, talking to you, going to the conference, seeing the community within EXP. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. I'll become an associate broker <laughs> all day yeah. if it looks like this, you know. Of course. No, that's that's amazing. And, and you know, I think it's it's been so cool to see that, you know, this becomes an opportunity to get that community. Like a lot of people make the assumption that because it's cloud-based, you can't get culture, you can't get community. And that couldn't be further from the truth. And I think that also leads into the final thing, which is like, people have an opportunity to partner with you and get not just your support, but mine as well. And that yeah. also allows you to build not just this global community, but also a local community where you can jam out with each other and create content together and things like that. So, you know, mm -hmm. what can people expect when partnering with you and, and what can we all expect from you going forward? Yeah, when, when, when anyone decides to partner with me, they know that they're gonna get some support from someone who's been in it for a long time. So I've seen all the different ups and downs of real estate. I've seen the market free fall, it come back up to being great, back down again. I've seen seller markets, buyer markets. So I understand I've had all the emotions from 20 years from being a young woman in real estate to now, you know, a grown woman. I'm in my forties now. So I've seen, I've experienced, I understand, I've had different clients. So I bring all that to the table. So when my mentees or the agents that have signed up with me, um, contact me, I get it. They don't have to go through the backstory of how they feel. Like, I already understand. And so that's really important too, knowing that a person understands, but also knowing because of how EXP is uh, strategizing, how it's set up is that, you know, we all benefit from helping one another. Mm -hmm. We all benefit from helping. So it's advantageous for me to help, not because I like to help anyway, but because it's gonna help us to all grow, make more money, assist our clients and be happier with our okay. career choice. And you know, that's the thing, like you get into real estate because you want to be happy, you want to be flexible, you want to hang out with the kids more or or whatever. So knowing that you can do that and knowing that, hey, I can call Shawnee to get some help or Shawnee, if Shawnee can't help me, she has the resources for me to, 
get to from point A to point B. That's really important because real estate moves fast. A transaction is like this. You don't have time to waste. You know, is she going to pick up the phone? You know, who do I talk? But when they join our group, when they join me, they know that, okay, I have a friend, someone that can help me. That's incredible, Shawnee. And, yeah. and I just think, you know, your journey is so inspiring and, it, and it's going to be so relatable to so many people because, you know, everybody just talks about the, the glorified aspect of it. But I think you've seen the glory, but also you've gone through, you know, the experience of that journey. And and you're right. It, it's, you know, the marathon continues. It is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Sure. And, and too many people are, are looking at it with the wrong perspective. So, um, you know, I'm super grateful that you came on here today, Shawnee. As <laughs> mentioned, I'm going to link all of Shawnee's incredible content content and channels below um and again just super grateful that you shared everything today absolutely i'm so happy to be here and i'm so excited to partner with anyone who's out there looking for something different you know it's, you're going to have a great time when you join our group truly it's going to change your entire life and perspective of how to be a real estate practitioner now in these days and time yeah perfect well that's all we've got thank you so much shawnee <laughs> i appreciate you again guys check out all our content and we'll see you in the next video